The outcome guide is one of your two options that you have with your course profile chart. Um, if you decided that um, your curriculum approach requires you to, you know, create uh, or use outcomes-based education because of the high order thinking skills or because of the fact that you're using authentic learning opportunities, then you want to go down this path. And remember, you're developing an outcomes guide for a course workshop series of approximately 30 hours. Now, learning outcomes are really simply statements that describe student performance in the real world. What is a learner able to do? Outcomes integrate what has been learned during a course or program and then force us to ask what do the students need to be able to do out there in the real world that we are responsible for here in the learning environment. It um, they should also uh, force us or cause us to ask who are our learners going to become. That's another perspective. So it's really about what the learners are able to do, who they're able to become in that real world scenario. Very, very important perspective. So when you're looking at doing this out, uh, course uh, outcomes uh, profile chart, what you need to do is get really clear on that purpose. So take a look at those real world scenarios. Really understand what it is that you need the learner to do. Brainstorm, you know, put down your ideas, get those sticky notes out and start to put down, you know, one verb based student performance idea on each sticky note. Once you've done that, once you've really put out a lot of ideas, organize them into clusters or themes. Um, take some time to reflect on this process. Um, this isn't going to happen just immediately. It's going to take a little bit of time to really think through the process. And then once you've done that and you've really evaluated um, all your ideas, start to consolidate these themes and ideas and then you can develop the outcome statements from that process. Another thing that you can do is, is really um, use those sticky notes to help you with the process. Now, th this is uh, obviously a humorous uh, picture and it's intended to make you chuckle, but at the same time, it's a useful process. So don't discount this process. It really is quite helpful. Now, 3210 is an outcomes-based course and you are living or experiencing um, an outcomes-based experience. So take a look at the course outcomes that we have within this course in the course syllabus and get a sense of what you are experiencing and what we are asking you to do. If you think about the uh, outcomes that, that are you know uh, intrinsic to 3210, we are asking you to do something in the real world. Build or modify or develop a course, a workshop, some type of learning event, right? So you are aligning the curriculum instruction evaluation. You're analyzing your design process and outcomes through um, your reflection and, and your rationale documents. Um, you're justifying those strategies as well through those documents. Um, you are using professional respectful communication in terms of working with your colleagues and your instructor and, and sharing information. So all these outcomes are what you are working towards to build a course map or a course profile that you can use in the real world. Very, very important. So this is a wonderful opportunity for you to take a look at real world scenarios and get a sense of what you can do as well. Now, I'd also encourage you to reach out and, and talk with me about this process. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, the readings in this section, I think, are quite useful, and I, I think they explain things quite well. But again, don't hesitate to reach out uh, to me if you need additional clarification or support.